So I would like one more time mention that diabetes is a very sneaky disease because it's very slowly but surely affecting the whole body, but diabetes has target organs, and I can list some. It's definitely number one, heart. Second is our eyes. Some people can get really blind if you don't do anything about diabetes or related to diabetes. Kidneys, it's number three, and definitely brain. Um, I would say another, not organ, but very important part, that diabetes kills our nerve endings, and many people are having, uh, we call it neuropathy, when you have persistent burning and uh, tingling sensation in your feet, in your arms, and it's very, very bothersome feeling. Uh, people definitely don't like it, and sometimes it might be uh, just first symptom to come to see the doctor and eventually we diagnose people with diabetes. That's the reason for that. And it's very important to know because, um, as I said, if, if diabetes affecting heart, it's definitely leading to any uh, problems related to the heart attack and even stroke because diabetes plays a very big role in that. So, um, I would say that definitely we have to um, keep out attention and, uh, to the diabetes and how we can prevent. And what we're going to do when we already have the diagnosis, number one, you have to keep your blood sugar as much under control as possible. This is number one. And um, we have the specific test everybody who has diabetes or pre-diabetes has to know. We call it hemoglobin A1C. This number you have to know. Whenever you go to see the uh, eye doctor, the ophthalmologist, they're going to ask you what is your hemoglobin A1C because this is a specific uh, marker for the long-term blood sugar. It shows you how long you have elevated blood sugar and what is the level. And for uh, the safe level, it should be definitely below seven. It's a very important number I would like you to remember. Um, basically, normal number should be below 5.6, but for people with diabetes, magic number is seven. Um, I would like to tell you that it's very important to keep your blood sugar not dropping too low as well because it might be even more dangerous. Uh, your body just cannot uh, keep your sugar in balance, that's it. So you have to be very, very uh, careful about that. So you have to eat frequent but small meals. I wouldn't encourage you to eat full meals like every two hours because it's going to uh, bring your body weight up and it's um, actually promoting the diabetes. So remember, structured, small but frequent meals, it's a key point to avoid any carbohydrate products. It's definitely, as I already mentioned above, all products with uh, starch products like potatoes, uh, corn, rice, pasta, any bread uh, should be limited, uh, simple sugars uh, definitely should be limited as well. Uh, I didn't mention yet uh, soda. This is number one enemy for diabetes and for us. Uh, please uh, eliminate it or cut it down as, as much as possible because it's very important. Um, to keep your um, body, even even if you drink diet soda, any type, it's not uh, gonna be healthy. Diabetes, as we already mentioned above, and all you know that it's increased blood sugar level in, in our blood, and uh, it definitely does um, going into any tissue into any, any tissue, including arteries. And it's making it to be very fragile and very um, not flexible, because usually our arteries should be uh, flexible to get um, more um, dilated if, it, if, 
if our body needs it and uh, blood sugar doesn't give this opportunity to our arteries so whenever we do something and our heart needs more blood to that like any exercising you need our as a whole body including heart needs more blood so arteries cannot delay so it cannot bring more blood to the heart and the heart is uh, asking for the oxygen for more blood and cannot get it so it's definitely creating uh, another problems a heart is trying to compensate for that and uh, we are going into the vicious cycle and um, definitely limited blood supply uh, it's a another uh, answer why we have uh, heart problems related to diabetes um, and another thing i already mentioned above that um, diabetes kills nerve endings and sometimes uh, people may not have even pain when they're experiencing serious problem with the heart we call it sometimes silent heart attack so people without diabetes may have pain as a first signal alarming signal 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 and they can rush to the emergency room but people with diabetes may not have pain and it's definitely defeating people and you can delay your visit to the emergency room and it might be definitely too late so please be aware of that that it's very important and uh, how important to keep your blood sugar under control not to get your arteries to be completely damaged and still to be able to bring some blood to your organs specifically heart